Hey, welcome to The Journey. Today we're talking about using hashtags with your business. Let's hash it out. And with me today to talk about hashtags with your business is Emma. Hey, Neely, what's up? What's up, how How's are you? How's it going? I'm good. So I'm Emma. I'm really excited to be joined with you today and go through Hashtags. Let's hash it out. I mean, you're all familiar with them, right? You've seen them. What What is a hashtag? So a hashtag is essentially that pound symbol in front of a word, and then it turns it into a clickable word. Right, like yeah. if I wanted tacos and it's Tuesday, I just search hashtag Taco Tuesday, like yeah. you were saying, and grab me some great tacos. Yeah, all so right. the good thing about hashtags is, yeah, they're free, yeah, it's gonna help you to be found, but there's still a lot of wrong ways to use them, so I wanna dive into the best practices of how to use a hashtag today. So let's hash it out. Let's do it. All right, cool. So Justin, how many posts have been done with hashtag cookies? So it looks like 19 million. Whoa. It's a lot okay. of cookies. So while you do wanna piggyback off of these popular trending hashtags, you also, for your business, you wanna come up with a more unique one. Not have you quite. done that yet? I, I haven't. All right, what's I'm the... I'm brand new here, help me out. Okay, totally. So what's the name of your business? Uh, Upskill your brand. Have you ever thought about doing a hashtag that's just your business name? I have not. Let's see how widely used it is. All right, so we type in hashtag upskill your brand. Yeah, your brand name. If I can type. Uh, one post. Okay, so this is actually great. So by adding upskill your brand to your post, then you can not only get more exposure for you, but then encourage your customers to use it, and then you can get user-generated content. Okay, so yeah. really like build a community around that hashtag Absolutely. and get them to post that too? Absolutely. You'll want to also research other hashtags because you're not going to just use one. How do I research though? Like, you know just what? start coming up with names, kind of like the brain dump? Yeah, kind of like the brain dump. But when you're on a given platform, so in this case you're on Instagram, you just go to the search bar. Okay. And then from there you can search, try a broad one for what you do. Something very broad, not specific to your brand name. How about just personal brand? Cool. So this way you're seeing, okay, how many posts are out there okay. with this? And we see there's 216,859 posts. So it's obviously more popular than the one that we used before. What we recommend is using a combination of the two. So yeah. when, when coming up with these things, I know you said it a little broad, is there a certain number that I wanna kind of look at? Of right. Like how many things are posted? Yeah, so you don't wanna go overboard. Don't do 30 hashtags. All right. So we recommend, to so you stay relevant, keep it around three to five. You can experiment with more, and if it works for your brand, by all means, go for it. Okay. But three to five is a good sweet spot, and you're not overwhelming your audience. And you're still keeping it relevant. Because mm. we all probably have had that friend where you look at their picture, and they're just going on a tangent of really silly hashtags that just make zero sense to what they're doing or their brand. The other thing I recommend, too, besides just having a hashtag, in your caption is substituting words that you're already saying. So I talk a lot about social media. Okay. And so when I go and do a presentation, let's say in Florida at the restaurant food show, I'm gonna use the hashtag of the food show so I get in front of more of the attendees. Okay. I'm gonna use my personal one, which is hashtag laugh and learn. All right, I dig it. And then the okay. other one I do is I'll do a localized one. So that's another one. So if I'm in Orlando for the seminar, okay. I'm gonna use any localized. Cause then that way someone who never, they do not know about me. They do not know what I do in social media, but they're searching hashtag Orlando for whatever, maybe to eat. Right. And then I have a chance to come up. Right. So, so it's maybe exposure. like hashtags at the venue too. Kind of yeah, get that going. Yeah, exactly. And then replacing phrases. So maybe I do a picture, like I got, speaking in the mic at the show and I'm doing this great seminar. The crowd goes wild. Someone takes a picture and I'm like, text that to me. I'm gonna put that on my social media. So I go on Twitter and I show this picture of me with the mic and I write, you know, out here in hashtag Orlando giving great hashtag social media tips <laughs> for local heroes. So then you're basically substituting that phrase for the hashtag. Okay, makes yeah. sense. And it kind of just flows instead of just that, that block of hashtag. Yeah, and because you want to keep your captions short, you know, short and sweet. Okay, what else about hashtags do I need to know to make sure I'm relevant? So just keeping up on the trends. So this is something that's always changing, mm -hmm. right? So what might be trending now could be gone tomorrow. So keeping up with that search bar to know what's out there, what's trending. You can even Google this. So then you're super relevant. Okay. 
And now is there a difference to the hashtags I use maybe on Instagram or Twitter or do we even use hashtags on Facebook? You can, yeah. I mean, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you're using them on LinkedIn, I would stop. It doesn't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> but absolutely just go to each platform, treat it separate. Okay. You know, they are their own entities. They have their own algorithms. They have their own presence. So I would just encourage you, if you have one, you're looking, yeah, like hashtag personal brand, go over on Twitter, see the relevancy there. I was talking to this guy, he owned a barber shop, and basically business was so slow. He's like, if I don't get someone in my shop, like today, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna have to close my doors. So I was like, you know what, hop on Twitter. Of course he looked at me like, where is this going? And I said, go ahead What's and search hashtags about getting your hair cut, hashtag bangs or no bangs, in your local area. So we did it in San Diego where his barbershop was, mm -hmm. and from there, we found people in real time that were looking for a haircut. Okay. So we and then started a conversation. Instant business. Yeah, exactly, okay. invite them on in. Thank you so much, Emma, for taking the time to help us better understand hashtags and all the relevancy. For those of you at home, make sure you subscribe to the channel to know when these videos are coming out next. Uh, this has been The Journey. We'll see you next time.